According to a new study, lies spread faster than the truth on Twitter, and humans are to blame. The report, published by three MIT researchers in the academic journal Science, inspected 126,000 news items that were posted during Twitter's first 12 years of existence. They found that falsehoods spread significantly faster and deeper than truths across all categories of news, but especially when it came to politics. The report also found that humans not bots were the ones responsible. Twitter robots were equally as likely to spread truths as they were to spread lies. But humans were much more likely to retweet false information. Joining us from Boston to explain the study is one of its co-authors, Sarush Vasugi. Sarush is a postdoctoral associate at the MIT Media Lab. All right, Sarush, this is fascinating. This research kind of upends the conventional wisdom about the spread of lies online. As the school of thought goes, a nugget of salacious news is tweeted out and then picked up by an army of bots that spreads it into the Twitter feeds of actual humans. But your team found the inverse to be true. Why is that? Uh, yes, thank you for having me. Um, what we found is that bots don't explain why false news spreads faster and reaches more people than true news. Uh, what explains it is, in fact, human psychology. It turns out that false news is more novel and surprising, and we think that that explains why people like to spread false news more than true news. It's more juicy, in other words. And so, uh, you know, people like to blame bots for, you know, the crazy amount of misinformation we see on social media, uh, what we see is that bots are not actually the main problem. It's human nature. Hmm. Well, what real world effects can the spread of false information have? Well, um, some of it is, you know, just celebrity gossips, you know, maybe it doesn't really have any real world uh, implications, but some of it could actually be really damaging. For instance, uh, false information spreading during natural disasters uh, could cause resources to be misallocated and misused. Or uh, false information spreading about uh, politics uh, could uh, cause the uh, electorate to be you know, ill-informed about the decision that they're making. So even though some of the false news is, uh, doesn't really have a consequence, some false news that spreads, most of it does have negative consequences. Well, what can Twitter do to stop the spread of these false news stories if its users are the ones sharing it? Yeah, so what we're showing is that because this is basically human nature, uh, you can't really write an algorithm that would, for example, uh, remove all robots or bot accounts spreading false information. So what you need to do is design uh, intervention methods, behavioral intervention methods that help uh, humans make better decisions as to whether to spread false information or not. For instance, um, uh, one analogy I like to give is uh, nowadays if you go to a restaurant and order a dish, you get information about the nutritional content of the dish that you're eating. How many calories it has, you know, uh, how much fat it has, things like that. I think something like that for information would be very useful. So let's hmm. say if you're reading news online, having some kind of a metric for the quality of the information that you're consuming so that you could decide whether to share it or not would be a good uh, step forward by these platforms. Interesting. I wonder, though, if there would be a debate about the, um, the standards for that metric and how do you assign value to that metric. But that's another conversation. All right. Well, compared to other social networks, that's Twitter small. is relatively small. Only about 12 percent of Americans are users. What implications could this have for other companies? Yeah. So even though the study was done on Twitter data, we think that our findings uh, stand for most social networks. Basically, because our findings show that it is human nature that is the main driver behind the spread of false information, any kind of platform that amplifies this uh, nature, uh, you would see the similar results. So for example, on Facebook, uh, you can share articles as easily as you can on Twitter. Same with Reddit and other platforms. So I don't think our findings are platform specific. In fact, I think pretty much most social media and social networks will have similar uh, dynamics where false news would travel faster and reach more people than true news. All right. Sarush Vasugi, thanks very much, Sarush, for your time. Thank you for having me.